They saved a life on Christmas Eve. Tonight, two Nicholasville firefighters are talking to us about how they rescued a man from his burning home. The fire damaged a home near downtown Nicholasville last Thursday night. The man rescued was taken to the hospital. And for one of the firefighters involved in the rescue, it was her very first fire run. Monique Blair has our top story at 11. Every day is something different. It was late Christmas Eve. When we pulled around, you could see it from the back, but there was no way to get to the other side because there was a fence. Nicholasville firefighter Lauren Buley moved the engine while Lieutenant Joshua Polly hopped the fence to get to the home. I hear someone hollering for help on the inside, and uh, I asked them, I was like, hey, are you inside? Because I, I couldn't see anybody back there, and they like, yeah, I'm inside. At that time, Buley saw Lieutenant Polly's flashlight and went to help him. Turn back around. He was coming down the stairs with him, so I really just helped carry him all the way, finished carrying all the way out. I was spent. Uh, I, was, I was tired. I would not have been able to get him as far as I did without her help. She, she, she downplays her, her role in the whole thing. Now there's something unique about this fire here on Heritage Drive. It was the very first one that firefighter Lauren Buley was called to. Other than a controlled training, it's the first one I've ever seen. Or been to. EMTs at the scene said the victim got out of the home just in time. They told me, you know, it's, it's a guess, professional guess on their part, another couple of minutes and, and he wouldn't have made it. Both Buley and Lieutenant Polly are staying humble, saying they were just doing their job. But just doing their job on Christmas Eve saved a man's life. We joined the, the fire department because we want to help people. To be able to do that is. I mean, that's, that's why we do what we do. In Nicholasville, Monique Blair, WKYT. And we are thankful for them. Firefighters said the man they rescued was conscious at the hospital, but they haven't received an update on his condition.